I'm Dennis. I'm Andrew. Welcome back to HGTV Handmade, and welcome to our bedroom. Here we are. <laughs> you know, we haven't put as much design energy as we've wanted to in our bedroom. Yes, the one thing we did make when we first moved in, we painted these nightstands. Yeah, we painted them with wall paint, and everything gets stuck to them. So Don't we're actually going to say goodbye yeah. to them. We're going to revamp our space today. Yes, and we wanted to start with something big, so we thought adding a headboard to our space would kind of help us shape the room around that. But when we were looking up headboards, they were super so expensive. expensive. Yeah. So being the crafty guys that we are, we thought we can make that. Yeah, so before we go to the hardware store to pick up everything we need, we're gonna measure our space, jot down the measurements, and then go. We are at the hardware store looking for wood. We found wood that we liked. It's already cut to size, so that's perfect for us. A tip is to just lay it out on the floor to kind of create your design and see what you like, and then buy it and take it home. I love it. All right, get to work. We have all our wood ready to be assembled. Um, it was kind of a lengthy process. Yeah, it was. Yes, because we're using pine, uh, they recommend sanding it for days. We started with a 150 grit sandpaper and then moved on to a 220 grit sandpaper. Yes, and then we did a pre-stain, just so the stain is more even because pines are really soft wood. Once that was dry, we stained our wood. Once and then once that, was, that dry, was dry, we polyurethaned our wood, let that dry. We gave it another quick sand down with a 220 grit, and then we re-polyurethaned for the last time and let that dry. We recommend doing it in a well-ventilated vent area, not a one-bedroom apartment like we have. Better yet, if you can take it outside, yeah, that's definitely even better. Okay, so now we're going to put it all together. Our bed frame has holes in it, so you can attach a headboard to it. And everything was all measured out already. We mm -hmm. knew that uh, we wanted 50 inches for our headboard. Uh, yeah. So our post we just cut down to 49 inches. This way we can just start it an inch down from the top piece. We're yeah. using a- um, Easy square. An easy square. To measure everything out, we're gonna line this up at the one inch mark here. You wanna measure over there? Sure. We're gonna use this piece of wood to help stabilize our post. We're just gonna slide it right under. And also, again, we know that we want our headboard to be 50 inches. When we have all these pieces together, it's about 48 inches. So we wanna leave about a half an inch between each board. And to do that, we're using a little trick. We have a dowel here that's already measured out as a half inch. And we're just gonna kinda lay that in between as we go and drill down our posts. Our bed frame is 68 inches, and these pieces are 70 inches. So we're gonna want extra inches on each side. So that's what I'm gonna measure out right now. Now it's time to screw it all together and hope for the best. Hey, you screwed it up. Just kidding. We did it. I'm gonna cry. Is it perfect? No, but we did it here in our apartment and if we can do it, so can you. It's time to check out our work. The back looks awful, but it's the back. Yeah, who cares? It looks oh. really good. <gasps> wow. That looks pretty good. good. I think it looks better than yeah, pretty good. Yeah, it looks great. And it, this costs about $60 for all the wood and the materials, maybe 70 for the yeah. stain. Yeah, let's say 80. I mean, this was a good amount of work, but I already think it was worth it. I cannot wait to see it on the wall. Let's bring it in Let's right now. In. I want to see this. We love it so much. We cannot believe we finally tackled oh our gosh. bedroom. Eight years later. Yes, and just uh, something like as simple as a headboard can make a huge impact in your space. Yes. Let us know if you have a room that you've been neglecting. <laughs> yes. And let us know if we've inspired you to make a change in it. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.